I, I think we fear each other, and I think that uh, there's a game being played on black and white people mm -hmm. uh, that uh, we're not looking for shared values. We're not even pursuing shared values. We're not pursuing clearly what Dr. King was talking about, judging people by the content of their character. We're now have been locked in, or many people have been locked into, we judge everything based on black and white. It's interesting because I, I totally n acknowledge what you're saying. Yeah. At the same time, I feel like it's really a pretty small percentage of the population that thinks that way. I, I, I think... I think it seems quite pervasive online and in certain circles, and I, there's absolutely a question, there's no doubt that there is an agenda, and there are people out there trying to create those divisions and to, yeah, I, call it, I call it the racism industrial complex, mm -hmm. right? There's no question that there's a massive grift going on in that regard. However, when I'm, you know, I don't live in the US, but I think this is my sixth time here this year, I've been to 25 states, dozens of different cities, met thousands of Americans, and it seems like a really small percent who really buy into those ideas. What I generally see is that most people do get on fine and judge people by the content of the character rather than the color of their skin to the chagrin of the race hustlers and the people in the media and certain politicians who would like people not to do that. Have you tested your theory in terms of you're running in a unique circle, so am I, in terms mm -hmm. of the conservative circle that's uh, influenced by Christian beliefs. I'm not saying everybody's a Christian, but in the conservative circles, the culture is a bit more Christian, and so you're looking at people that are authentically trying to judge each other by the content of, of their character because that's what they've been programmed to do by their faith. There's another world, uh, particularly for black people, in the black church where racial idolatry rules, mm -hmm. where uh, a racial worldview is preached in the black church in general. Uh, and there's a lot of discussion in the black church about race loyalty, and it's all dependent upon your political worldview. You're not black unless you're a Democrat and unless you support liberal ideas. And so w w what I say is like in the 1980s, early 1990s, I had all the same values, thought pretty much all the same things that I do now. No one cared really in the black community. It's like if I wanted to go to a black nightclub, if I wanted to go to Essence Festival or whatever black event is going on, no one cared what my political worldview was. More than welcome. Now in 2024, if you're a black conservative with thoughts like mine, you're a pariah in many black circles. You, you like in the, within the black church, with within a lot of these social settings, groups. You're a pariah. You're certainly an outcast. You, you're certainly not welcome the way that you used to be. And so I would, as a visitor to America, and perhaps not as immersed in uh, stereotypical or the predominant uh, black culture here in America that's so tied to politics, you, you may be running a circle where you just don't see it.